Good day everyone and welcome to Learn with Mike. So for today's topic, it's about Charles Law. Let's start. Charles Law. It describes the relationship between volume and temperature. Discovered and proposed by French physicist Jacques Charles when he performed an experiment in a balloon, hot water, and cold water. So this is Jacques Charles. So this law states that the Kelvin temperature and the volume of gas are directly proportional when there is no change in pressure of a gas. In short, as the volume increases, temperature also increases. Or, as the volume of gas decreases, temperature also decreases. So this is the formula for Charles' law. V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2, where... V1 is the initial volume, V2 is the final volume, T1 is the initial temperature, and T2 is the final temperature. Take note, the temperature must be in Kelvin scale, meaning if the given is in degree Celsius, we need to convert it to Kelvin. Or if it the given or if the given is in Fahrenheit, we need to convert it to Kelvin. So let's have an example problem. A 132 ml of gas is measured at 38 degrees Celsius. If the pressure remains constant, what will be the volume of the gas at 10 degrees Celsius? So let's write the given unknown in the solution. Given, T1 is equal to 38 degrees Celsius, T2 is equal to 10 degrees Celsius, V1 is equal to 132 ml. And the unknown is the final volume or V2. So the first step that we need to do is simply to convert degree Celsius to Kelvin. So let's start with the T1. So to convert Celsius to Kelvin, we just need to add the value of Celsius to 273.15. So for T1, 38 plus 273.15 is equal to 311.15 Kelvin. And for T2, 273.15 plus 10 degrees Celsius is equal to 283.15 Kelvin. After that, we can now compute. We can now solve the V2. So writing the formula, then substituting the values. 132 ml is equal to 311.15 Kelvin is equal to V2 over 283.15 Kelvin. Cross multiply. So, copy V2 and 311.15, then multiplying 132 times 283.15, the answer is 37,375.8 ml Kelvin. Then, to find V2, we need to cancel 311.15. By doing that, or to do that, we need to divide both sides by 311.15. So, we can cancel it, and then on the right side, we cancel Kelvin. 37,375.8 ml divided by 311.15 is equal to 120.12 ml. So that is the value for the final volume. Analyzing the given, so for the temperature from 311.15 Kelvin to 283.15 Kelvin, it decreases. And for volume from 132 ml to 120.12 ml, it also decreases. So, the statement is true. As the temperature decreases, volume decreases. Number two. An aerosol can contains 0.452 liter of gas at 22 degrees Celsius. What will be the final volume of the gas at constant pressure if the temperature is increased to 187.0 degrees Celsius? So, this problem is almost the same with problem number one. So, let's write the given. T1 is equal to 22 degrees Celsius, T2 is equal to 187.0 degrees Celsius, V1 is 0.452 liter. So the unknown is V2. So first thing to do is to convert Celsius to Kelvin. For T1, so 273.15 plus 22 degrees Celsius, so that is equal to 295.15 Kelvin. And for T2, 273.15 plus 187 T2 is equal to 460.15 Kelvin. Now, let's solve. Substituting the values, 0.452 liter over 295.15 Kelvin 
is equal to V2 over 460.15 Kelvin. Next step is to cross multiply. So copy 295.15, then V2, then multiply 0.452 times 460.15. The answer is 207.9878 liter Kelvin. We need to cancel 295.15. To do that, let us divide both sides by 295.15. We cancel it on the left side and cancel Kelvin on the right side. Dividing 207.9878 liter to 295.15, then V2 is equal to 0.70 liter. Analyzing, so T1 from 295.15 to 460.15 Kelvin, it increases. And then for volume, from 0.452 liter to 0.70, it increases. So there is an increase. So the temperature increases, the volume also increases. Number three, under constant pressure condition, a sample of hydrogen gas initially at 85 degrees Celsius and 7.2 liter, liters is cooled until its final volume is 4.1 liter. What is its final temperature? So let's write the given. V1 is equal to 7.2 liters. V2 is equal to 4.1 liters. And the temperature is 85 degrees Celsius. On the given itself, we notice that the volume decreases from 7.2 to 4.1. So in this case, our answer for T2 must also decreases. So it must be less than 85. So T2 is unknown. So first thing is to convert T1 which is 85 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. 273.15 plus 85 is 358.15 Kelvin. So this is our temperature 1. Now let's solve. Same formula. Substituting the value, 7.2 liter, liters over 358.15 Kelvin is equal to 4.1 liters over T2. Cross multiply. Copy 7.2 liter and T2, then multiplying 358.15 Kelvin times 4.1 is equal to 1468.415 liter Kelvin. To find T2, let us divide both sides by 7.2 liter. Cancel it on the left side, then cancel liter on the right side. 1468.415 Kelvin divided by 7.2 is equal to 203 0.95 Kelvin. So, analyzing the values, the temperature from 358.15 to 203.95 Kelvin decreases. Volume from 7.2 liter to 4.1 liter decreases. Okay, next problem. A sample of carbon monoxide has a volume of 20 ml at 330 Kelvin. What will be its volume when the temperature is increased to 100 degrees Celsius? Given, T1 is 330 Kelvin, T2 is 100 degrees Celsius, and V1 is 20 ml. So the unknown is volume 2 or the final volume. So T1 is already in Kelvin, so no need to convert it to Kelvin. So what we need to do is simply to convert the second temperature, which is 100, to Kelvin. So add to 73.15 plus 100. Then T2 is equal to 373.15 Kelvin. So, formula. Substituting the values, 20 ml is over 330 Kelvin is equal to V2 over 373.15 Kelvin. Cross multiply, copy V2, 330 Kelvin. Then 20 times 373.15 is equal to 7,463 ml Kelvin. Dividing both sides by 330 Kelvin. 7,463 divided by 330 is equal to 22.62 ml. Analyzing, temperature, T1 is equal to 330. It becomes 373.15. There is an increase. For volume, from 20 ml to 22.62 ml, it also increases. And for the last problem, a sample of hydrogen gas has an initial temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. When the temperature is lowered to negative 5 degrees Celsius, the volume of hydrogen becomes 212 centimeter cube. What was the initial volume of the hydrogen? So let's write the given. T1 
is equal to 50 degrees Celsius, T2 is equal to negative 5 degrees Celsius, and V2 is equal to 212 centimeter cube or cubic centimeter. So the unknown is V1 or the initial volume. So first thing to do again, let us convert Celsius to Kelvin. For T1, 273.15 plus 50. It is equal to 323.15 Kelvin. For T2, because it is negative, so we need to subtract. 273.15 plus negative 5, it is subtraction. So T2 is equal to 268.15 Kelvin. Solving the problem, substituting the values, V1 over 323.15 Kelvin is equal to 212 cm3 over 268.15 Kelvin. Cross multiply the values. Copy V1 to 68.15 Kelvin, then multiply 323.15 Kelvin times 212 cubic centimeter. The answer is 68,507.8 cubic centimeter Kelvin. To find V1, divide both sides by 268.15. Cancel, cancel Kelvin on the left, on the right side. 68,507.8 centimeter cube divided by 268.15. Then the answer is 255.48 cubic centimeter. Analyzing the given values, T1, 323.15 Kelvin to 268.15 Kelvin decreases. And for volume, 255.48 centimeter cube to 212 centimeter cube, it decreases. So it follows the rule or the law that as temperature increases, volume also increases. And same with decreases for temperature and volume also decreases. Now, application of Charles' law in real life situation. So number one, application of Charles' law can be seen as one flies in a hot air balloon. The air inside the balloon when heated causes the air to expand, thus becomes lighter and so it rises. Number two, an inflated balloon shrinks when placed inside the refrigerator. And number three, during cold weather, bicycle tires become flat because the air inside the bicycle tires shrink. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you learn. Thank you. Subscribe if you learn.